this draft is terrible. Maybe I should just start over. Maybe I should just delete it. I'm Dr. Denise. I'm a professor, a writer, a podcaster, and an encourager. Today, I want to pull all of that together and encourage you to write badly. Yeah, I said write badly. You know, a lot of us put so much pressure on our writing. We want to compare our feeble first attempts to someone else's polished prose. We want to write in such a way that it all comes out beautiful and eloquent. But the writing process includes a lot of editing. And during that editing, that's when we're crafting our words, when we're making it sound more beautiful, making the words flow on the page. But none of us start there. And that's why it's really important to start by allowing yourself to write badly. Maybe you'll surprise yourself. Maybe your writing's not that bad. But if it is, and for a lot of us, it is, that's okay because that's where we start. We get the words out of our head and into the document. And if they're poorly constructed, if we use the same word over and over, if sometimes it just stutters along, that's okay because writing badly is way better than not writing at all. That's okay, because writing badly is way better than not writing at all. So today, that's what I wanna encourage you to do. Just give yourself permission to write badly. 500 badly written words a day. If that's what it takes to get the draft of your book written, that's fantastic. Writing badly doesn't mean that it's going to end badly. It's just part of the process, part of getting those words out. Do what you need to do, but get those words in the document. If it's possible to quiet that self-talk and tell yourself that it's okay not to be great the first time out. It's okay to write poorly. It's okay to read this tomorrow and think, what was I thinking? That's all fine as long as you get the words out because if you don't ever get the words out, even the badly written words, then you will never finish your book. So what do you need to hear? Do you need permission to write badly? Do you need encouragement that you'll fix it later? Do you need to know that as you're writing, you are also learning your craft and that every day that you write, you get just a little bit better? Whatever you need to hear, I hope you heard it here today. Write, write badly, but get your draft ready. Writing badly helps you learn to write quickly. And that's what we're learning this week, how to write quickly and efficiently. Now, I'm also a YouTuber, and today what I want to do is I want to pull all that together to encourage you to write bad words. 